obviously as a as a major city in China, um, I think for for our sort of big bets as we look forward, we're very much driven by obviously market demand and our clients. And if you think about broader government policy around regional economic clusters here in the south, that is GBA. And we look at that very much as what we call a smart region rather than a collection of individual smart cities. The question for us is how do we actually operate synergistically in, in, in that region? And we're following that sort of um, uh, ethos in our own organization and operation. So as Willie said, I think having lived in Hong Kong for 26 plus years now myself, I think there is an urgency for Hong Kong to continue to uh, drive its own innovation because Guangdong is obviously, we know Shenzhen just over the border, it's got access to a huge amount of talent across the mainland as well as capital. Um, and you know, it's easy to say Guangdong and Hong Kong are complementary because Hong Kong has a tremendous legacy and history of academic research, um, et cetera, et cetera. So putting them together absolutely makes sense. Um, but but w we believe that Hong Kong needs to continue to um, innovate right. uh, and partner with, with Guangdong. Um, so you mean the, the upper stream has to collaborate with, the upper stream is actually the research R&D and then to work with the, the manufacturers and also the implementation uh, companies in, in GBA. That's right, embracing, embracing that smart region rather than resting on our laurels that Hong Kong has been a fantastic, successful city. Um, we, you know, and, and so, uh, you know, as an organization, we are actively encouraging all our people in Hong Kong to have a mainland China experience, for example, to really understand the innovation that is happening on the mainland. Um, and then, you know, when they return to Hong Kong, they're in a better place to interact as part of that, that holistic region. Thank you. So it's how does how does one plus one equal three essentially?